So question 3.1 is actually very similar to question 2. They tell us that the second term of a geometric sequence is this. Okay, so we go get the geometric sequence uh, formula. And so we fill that in. So they're telling us that it's the second term and they're telling us the answer is 5 over 128. So we do that. And then A we don't know, R we don't know. But it's the second term. So that's position number 2. And then we can just simplify this a little bit by saying A times r because 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay great and then they said the ninth term is 5 so we use the same formula and so they're saying that the answer is 5 when we're busy with uh, the ninth term so that's 9 minus 1 and so we simplify like that. There we go two equations two unknowns now a nice way to do these ones is to I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna get the a by itself so if I get the a by itself, it's going to say a equals to uh, 5 divided by 128 r. Make sure you understand what I've done there. Then I'm going to take this a and I'm going to plug it in over here. You don't have to do it this way. There are other ways you can do it, but you must do what's comfortable for you. And then, of course, we've still got the normal r8. Okay, and so what I would do now is... I would just multiply these two together. So that's just going to become 5 R8 over 128 R. Now the R8 and the R divided by R is just going to give us R7. So that's what we have now. Then I want to try to get R alone. So I'm going to multiply this 128 over. So that's going to give us 5 multiplied. So that looks more like a 6. 5 multiplied by 128 equals to 5 R7. I'm then going to divide by 5. Well, let's rather do it in the next step. So it's going to be 5 times 128 divided by 5 equals to R7. And so it looks like R7 would be 128. Then you can take the seventh root. So on your calculator, it would look like this. And so R is going to be, R is going to be 2. And that's all that the question actually asked for. Um, it says determine the value of the common ratio. And that's exactly what we've gone and found.